Thank you, Kyle. So fitting for a lifeguard to take that title. And mahalo to the EMS and Ocean Safety who were so busy today rescuing people and making sure that everyone in the water and on the shore were safe. Yeah. There it goes, guys. Hold on to your kids. Like I said, this whole device. Some dramatic video there. The large waves coming in and pulling some people out into the water. Some children among them. Lifeguards were quick to get them back to shore. Several incidents to tell you about now. At around 8 a.m., a 14-year-old boy fell about 10 feet out of a tree while watching the eddy. He was taken to an ER in serious condition. EMS said that he'll be okay. At about 9, Ocean Safety responded to a home on Keike, Keike Road where two adults and a baby were struck by a huge wave. The baby was washed under the home but was rescued. Luckily, no life-threatening injuries. And the baby was all soaking wet, like sand all over. And the lady was really angry. And the daddy was really angry too. So and then like I got the baby, calm down a little bit, and we call you guys. Well, also near Sharks Cove, four people were washed off the rocks and suffered cuts. At about 10.30 this morning, a surfer suffered possible broken ribs at Chun's surf break. At Ehukai Beach, a 24-year-old surfer hit his head on the reef and was transported to the ER in critical condition. At Freddie Land, lifeguards on jet skis rescued six surfers. And then over at Kaneohe Sandbar, around 4 p.m., a 52-year-old woman suffered a hip injury and was taken to the ER in serious condition. We've had a lot of close calls. Um, that's all we want them to be. We, um, we don't want anybody um, to suffer anything uh, critical or, or even worse. Well, so far, lifeguards have rescued at least 21 people on the North Shore and made more than 3,000 preventative actions.